G'day guys, Kyle forgot to go travel. Here we are, back in the garage. Again, with our dirty, underloved Black Series game trailer. Now, today, I want to show you the suspension we put under it. Today we're off to Lovell's Special Products. We're gonna give the old girl a bit of an upgrade. We ended up going for a Lovell suspension kit. Three year warranty on your shocks, five years on your coils. So, you can't really go wrong. But I just wanna show you this. So pull out the trusty old calipers. So the outer body of the shock is 56 mil. So, 56 mil shock, it's a bloody big shock. Rubber covers to protect the chrome. Gas shock, nice big bodied, much bigger than the last one, and designed to go on a camera trailer. And also, low springs. At both sides, obviously, two shocks, new springs. Right, so the reason we got this suspension changed is we actually noticed one of the shocks start to leak. But it turns out, even the shocks that were leaking were absolutely crap. You could move them in and out with your hands like they were nothing. So they actually weren't working or doing anything. But we didn't realise this at the time. All we knew was that one was definitely stuffed, but it turns out they were all stuffed. Talking to the guys down at Lovells, it's not an uncommon thing. So any of these import trailers, regardless of the brand, if it's imported and they've got that red suspension under there, it's generally just crap. Not only is it crap, but it's not designed for your trailer. It's not designed for the weight. People would have heard of Lovells before, and Lovells are the GVM guys, right? So if anyone can take a load, it's Lovells. You might realise it, but another thing is, these trailers are bloody heavy. So we're around 1,400 kilos, which is quite a lot of bloody weight for a box trailer. So the main reasons we were with Lovells, obviously they're an Aussie company that are known, they're established, they're, they've got a reputation, so you know it's going to be a good product. But not only that, Lovells are a newy based company. Lovell special products are, which they're the guys that make the trailer suspension, they make the cool stuff like the hitches. Normally I would fit something like this myself. Even with not knowing anything about camp trailer suspension, I'd have to go fit this myself. The guys don't charge that much to fit it, and what they will do for you, while they fit it, they'll fit it, they align the wheels for me, they, they go with the full treatment, the full service. I'm pretty sure the guys down there even told me they checked my wheel bearings while they were down there, so it's bloody service was unreal. So they put the suspension in, they align it, did the wheel bearings, greased everything up, made sure it was all right. But on top of that, they weighed it all for me. This was a bit of a shock for me when they weighed it. I'll show you some paperwork, right? So all up when we took our trailer down there. See, that's almost completely loaded and it had no water in it. So by the time you fill that water tank up, you take capacity. Which that's before you put any weight on the draw bar or anything like that. So which one thing that, that highlighted to me is we carry too much gear. But it was a good thing to get it weighed and actually know that, because then you realise. So one thing we've done since we've actually culled some weight out of a trailer, there was crap that we've carried just because we've carried it forever and having a camp trailer you do that. And that goes back to the Alpha being bad because it's got all these storage holes. And so what do you do? You fill them. You just put stuff in there. Oh, I might use this, I'll carry it, I've got the space. One thing that surprised me, which stuck out to me, so, table weight, 130 kilos. That was without a jerry can or a bike or anything on the front. So you imagine you put the kids' bikes on the front, you put the racks, the you put the jerrys, the gas bottles, and all that stuff there. All of a sudden, that table weight would go up really quickly because all that stuff's fall to the axle. Now, the split difference between the axles, between the sides, that just made me realise that I probably don't load this as good as I can. Like, we've got things that are heavy, like the kids' bunks, and the bunks sit on that, uh, that A side, which is probably what the difference of that weight is. So it just made me think about the way I load the trailer. But all these things I wouldn't have realised unless I actually went down to levels and got these guys to do this. So it was really cool. The other thing, you're probably wondering, why did I change the springs as well? because I had a leaking shock and that's what let me down there. I suspected that if the shocks were crap, the springs would probably be not so good quality either. Now there is an option to get a one inch lifted spring. I'm pretty confident we just got standard springs. I don't think we got raised height springs. Now, one thing that sticks out to me, right? The standard height was 44. The new height is 57. 
So that just shows you how bad the springs are and how much they're not designed to carry the weight. One of the trailer, let alone know what to load it up with. We essentially put a four inch lift. So of course all new springs settle and it has come back down. But one thing I did take note of is it didn't look out of proportion. So when we got the trailer back, it sat, it sits well, it sits good. But it just highlights how close to the guards these wheels were. Like, you just don't realise that these things are bad until you modify them. But it's no different to your four-wheel drive. You change things, you modify things, and you make them better. So why would your camper trailer be any different? Now one thing I've always said is I hate towing and I didn't realise that until we bought this trailer. But the suspension's made it much better and I didn't realise this was an issue. So this moved around heaps and I just never realised it. But yeah, now it tows smoothly, it's just, it's amazing how big a difference it is. And it's one of the things that in my head initially I thought, geez, it's a lot of money for the suspension, which it's not really that bad. It's no different to buying full shocks for anything. But now that I've got it, and now that it's on, I can say it's worth every cent. So if you've got an imported Black Series trailer, change the speed on they're crap. For that matter, if you've got an import trailer of any description, whether it be a camper trailer or a hybrid caravan, if it's been imported and it's got that cheap, nasty red suspension under it, go and see the guys that love a suspension, get them to have a look at it, get them to sort it out.